Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Another week. Oh gosh, I don't know where time's going. It's really flying this year. Um, I've been having a busy week because I've been creating. I've got my creative mojo back and I've been um, doing a lot of the air dry clay work. On I've got some tissue boxes and I'm going to throw a little clip in of the things I did. I had a couple of pine uh, lampstands that were actually here. Um, I've um, shabbied up and used the air dry clay on and I tried it on a glass jar because I thought if it works on a glass jar it'd be great to put makeup brushes in and also I'll be able to demo it as a small piece for you to even try yourselves at home which is it's a bit of fun and actually make really nice gifts because you can put lids I actually did some lovely bows as well this week my god I've actually done a lot this week I've done some jars which I've decoupaged and I made the lids, I'd already done this um, last year because I was going to do um, I was going to do a craft fair, but uh, the, um, the Scooby, we'd only had a month and he came with kennel cough, which then he transferred to Tilly, so I couldn't go. So I started making these jars and I did the all encrusted tops. I'll show you those another time, the crafty side of me. Um, but uh, I decided to decoupage them this week and they've actually turned out really nice. But... Um, so that's that. No, I've lost. I keep rambling. I do this all the time. I uh, also, um, because um, I decided, I've just opened an Etsy shop and I've got nothing in it yet, but I thought I'd dig out all my old, old, old things. They've been about, they've been stored for about three years now. And um, as I've been pulling bits and pieces out, I think there's been a bit of colour transference on a couple of the dresses and things like that. So I thought, well, I can't sell them what can I do? So I'm on YouTube, as you do, and um, one of my favourites is Dainty Diaries. She happened to, put, it's like she was reading my mind, I was thinking about scrunchies, and she happened to po post what you can do with scraps of material, um, makeup bag, uh, scrunchies. Oh, I, would, I haven't tried yet, but I want to try these makeup remover pads and a little, um, she did it for washing up, a little washing up uh, spongy thing using scraps of material. So I thought, that's it, that's what I'm going to use these dresses for. So I I um, also learned how to make tote bags. So so far I've tried a scrunchy makeup bag and a, a couple of tote bags. I've made three makeup bags. The first one was an absolute, well, you know what they say, I'm a little bit, try and remember how to do it and then do it, uh, which I shouldn't have done. I should have really gone back on the video and watched it a little bit closer. But anyway, by the third time, it was perfect. And I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, and you know what? It's good to learn new skills. It's, it's, it, it's exciting to learn new skills. And it's um, also, with the times as they are, it's good to be able to reuse things. And when you make it yourself, it gives you such a little buzz. And you know, when go collecting old clothes and everything, there are things you really don't want to wear anymore, well, why not make use of it and turn it into something else? Recycling something you actually like the print of. Anyway, I'm digressing it again. Let's just get into, I popped into the charity shop only once this week, because I say I've been really busy, but I did manage to pick up a couple of things. And one of the things I picked up was one of my Cardi uh, type jackets. You know, I, I always love these style things. Look at it, it's a nice autumn colour, like a mustardy colour. And um, I'm going to actually do these trying on live today because <coughs> I thought it'd be a make a change. Change is as good as a rest, you know. Right, so this is this one. Mm -hmm. It's got nothing to keep my keep that here. And it just sits up. It's really nice. Nice for this, um, at the moment the weather's changing. We're starting to get a little bit cooler. Uh, so this is like a perfect thing to throw on. It's like a cardi type jacket. And I love, the colour's perfect for this time of year. On another note, because you remember I told you I had a, a massive haul. I decided to just wear bits of that haul when I'm talking to you every week. And... Um, one of the pieces was this beautiful bedspread behind me, and that was eight euros. Um, it's really, really nice. I don't know if I move this without hope making too much noise, but look how lovely it is. It's all cotton, it's got like a sort of gingham edge. It's huge, huge. Eight 
eight euros for that. That's amazing. Oh, so um, let's see. So that's this one. What I'm wearing underneath was from that original haul. Um, I told you it was a huge haul, and um, where all the things were like two euros. So this is like um, it's quite long. I can't show you how long it is. It's long, but it's sort of open from here. So it's a nice throw over. Um, it's a nice throw over sort of layering piece and uh, great autumnal colours as well. The next piece I found on a separate, well actually I went twice, so there were two trips. So the first time I picked up that jacket, but at the same time I saw this necklace dangling. I saw this necklace dangling, it's got all these little pieces on it. It's like, but you know, my eye was really looking for autumnal pieces, but I left it and then I kept thinking, oh my god, it's such a sort of lovely piece piece. I'll I'll go back. Um this wasn't cheap. This is not cheap, this um I call it like the boutique charity shop because it is like a boutique, but it seems that they get quality products. She did say um it's got some kind of label. It's a Spanish designer. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, I don't know anything about things like that, but I just thought for the summer that's quite impressive. It's, I like all the little bits and pieces it's got on it. Um, that was actually eight euros, but in hindsight, I think for eight euros for a really unusual piece, it's not a bad thing. And the jacket was six euro, no seven euros. The tops um, I'm about to show you were one was five and one was six euros. So this one here was six euros, and I really like this. Again, it's another thin. This is really cute. Um, I think it's got like a little frilly bit at the bottom. It's got a little peep holey bit at the back, um, and it's it's quite a thin cotton. I think it's a, probably a cotton poly mix, but it's got a cute print on it, and like a blue tone. So let's um let's try it on. Take this off. Ooh. I thought I'd do it this way. I used to do it this way. Um, but I, I thought I'd try and get a bit arty with my videos. You know? <laughs> so let's put this one on and see what it's like. I have tried them. Oh gosh. Good caught. And that's, uh, this is this one. Oh gosh. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I really like it. It's great for jeans if you want to dress your jeans up. I think it's a really cute piece. Right, so the, uh, the last piece I've got was this. This is the first one I picked up because of the, the colours. I thought they're quite, I love that sort of, again, oh, I like another olive green, another olive green. It's got an olive green background and it's got like little florals of purple and white all over it. And it's got um, like bits of lace there and bits of lace at the bottom. Um, you know, when I'm doing my artwork and things like that, I kind of you like to get into a bit of the artist vibe. So things like that remind me of those sort of um, uh, painters, you know, like painters type things. I've got, oh, where is it? It's not here. Oh no, I put it in the wash. So I was painting, sorry, I think my phone keeps flashing at me. So um, my, uh, I've got this stripy red and white thing. I like to put a, a sort of a, a bandana, red bandana, red lips, and then start doing my artwork. Why? I don't know. And my sort of cropped jeans. I just um, get you in the arty mood, you know. This is this one. Um, I like this because it's got a bit of an empire cut and it's quite quite good quite good for covering the bulge the bulge the bulge what do you think i think it's not to cover your bum if you're having a bit of an off day it gives you a bit of room for if you're going out to eat it's a win-win really isn't it i think this is nice i quite like the neckline as well because it's sort of a bit warmer i think collars can not always suit me, but I, I really like this one. So, so let me just show you the a close up. Scooby's like having a remake of the bed. 
so this is the this is this was a little jar um and these were these are like the little clay um you just get like i've got these molds i think they are iod molds. i'll put i'll put the link below iod molds they are i think and i get them just from amazon but they come from america actually now this one here i was trying to be clever with it and um i've, I've got some tape now i should have taped it to where i wanted it but it slipped because it was on glass and um actually i thought you know when i got up in the morning it slipped down i thought i actually quite like it down there i'm going to leave it so i've just distressed it underneath is just sprayed like um a spray bronze and then i'll just distress over the top if you're interested in me showing you how i did this just leave a comment below and i'll definitely do a demo it's it's a bit of fun um i had the clay originally from um when my grandchildren came to stay uh, my three granddaughters and i bought them the clay to play with um and they went they had, i think they only opened a couple of packets and like you know what you do you always go mad you buy extra and I saw a video, Debbie's Design Diary, and she did this beautiful um, anthropology style um, chest of drawers. And I thought, oh gosh, I've got to have a go at that. So I thought, out comes the clay. And um, I did it on, I did it on a, on a piece, and I just thought, oh my God, this is so amazing. And I got hooked on it. And now um, anything that moves actually gets, uh, gets it. And as you go along, you get more and more creative. But... You know, with a bit of cake mould, some cake moulds and some of this air dry clay, you can create so many pretty things and, you know, they're bespoke and unique to yourself. Um, let me quickly show you the bags I've made. I just, just, I'm rambling. It's a bit of a vlog today, really, but I'm really pleased. So I started with making the makeup, makeup purse. And... I decided to use my, um, when my daughter, my youngest daughter was small, I, made, I bought some curtains from the charity shop and put them in her room. And when I moved here, for some reason, I had one of them. I don't know where the other one's gone. But here's my first little purse, makeup purse. And it's got like a pillowcase that I had and pink that I used for the lining. But look, you can see um, where the zit's a bit bunched. Where I didn't measure it right and I winged it a bit. So it closes but not uh, perfect. So I thought, okay, live and learn, do another one. And again, I didn't fully, I didn't fully measure it right. And um, so I did a bit of my Kath Kitson material, same pillowcase interior. Um, better, better, much better. But um, I thought, okay, right, third time lucky. Um, I made, I tore this dress up and um, made one again. So it was third time lucky. And the print was so nice. It's just such a shame that it got stained. So it's a shame to actually throw the dress away when most of the fabric was okay. Um, so look, did it properly. So third time lucky, that turned out. I then decided to have a go. Do you know what's fun about those? Just to digress, when I was watching Dainty Diaries do this, what I enjoyed most of all was watching how they, it gets pulled out from inside out and it turns into this lined bag. I've always looked at handbags and thought, how the hell does it get the lining to look like that? Now I know. Um, so I went on to another YouTube lady, Whitney Sows, I think her name is, and she made she made a tote bag in the same sort of principle. So I used the curtain material again. The rest of the pillowcase lining, and look, it's all all in, incorporated in this thing where you pull it through again. Um, right, okay, I'll have to confess again. I decided to use the brain and and not really. And um, she said something about cutting off this edge to box it off to do four inches. Now I thought she meant four inches from the seam, and when I went down, I thought, well, my bag must be a bit smaller than hers. Somehow I've lost some inches. Um, gosh, that would be a huge cut off. I'll only do it at three, I think I do do anyway, coming down here. And it's ended up quite a wide box. Not, not that it takes anything away from the bag, actually, because I quite like it. But um, I measured it wrong, because it's supposed to be four inches from the seam line. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, going across, not from the seam line going down, which made it wider at the bottom. So that's another mistake I made. 
Um, but look, I've never done anything like this before. And if I can do it, honestly, anyone can. And all I've got is one of those um, MIDI, I've got it from Aldi actually, a MIDI sewing machine, not even a full sewing machine, it's a MIDI one. So encouraged with how amazing this turned out, I thought, right, I'm going to use that dress material to make a tote. Well, the dress that I cut up was um, boned and it was it was flared and it had a petticoat underneath. So I thought, I mean, it was such a shame because it was like a sort of real vintage vibe to it. And I thought, OK, I'll just do a smaller one. So I had to actually use my brain this time to actually take all her measurements down, but use the same principle of what she did. So I did. I made a smaller one. And as you can see, it's a lot neater. The box part, I've, I've actually pressed it really well. It's not so huge because I've got what she did right and I actually bothered to take note this time. Um, lining, same, but this time I used a cream pillowcase uh, that I had. Um, poly cotton, I think it is, and um, yeah, it's not look, uh, not really cute, really. So look, they're all experiments. I didn't want to waste the fabric, and finally, um, I wanted to have a go at making the sh scrunchies. So with the with the hem of that dress, so it was quite a wide hem. Oh, I made a scrunchie, and. Um, Dainty Diaries did a technique where you um, put elastic, where you make the tube, put the elastic in, tie a knot, and then make it all neat and tidy. Uh, on, on the hunt for looking at scrunchies, I found another technique where you actually use the, um, you know, the actual complete rings, and you actually sew it inside out onto the ring, going round and round and round, and then you pull it all through. That actually took a bit more time, but... Um, yeah, actually, probably Dainty Diaries way is the easier way. Um, I just thought these elastics held your hair a bit better than tying the, the sewing elastic. Anyway, that's it, really. That's all I wanted to share with you this week. Um, I hope you all have a great week and I hope you're all well. I hope you're all keeping safe and um, I look forward to chatting with you again. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. It encourages me to do more for you. And thank you very much. Take care.